Congratulations on your new smile. It's important to follow these steps to help speed healing. If we used anesthesia, wait until at least two hours before eating. When you feel comfortable enough to eat, if you still have any numbness, be careful not to bite your cheeks or tongue. To control discomfort, take pain medication before the anesthetic has worn off or as recommended. It can be normal to experience some discomfort after a procedure. Once the anesthesia has worn off, pay attention to your bite. A high bite can cause discomfort. If you experience this, please call us so we can make any appropriate changes. If your gums are sensitive, gently rinsing with warm salt water three times a day can help soothe them. Use about a teaspoon of salt in a glass of warm water. Don't be concerned if your speech is affected for a few days. You'll quickly adapt and be speaking normally soon. It's also common to have increased salivary flow during this adjustment period. This will soon subside. It's important to take good care of your new teeth. As with natural teeth, avoid hard or sticky foods that could crack or chip your teeth. Don't chew on pencils, ice, or fingernails. Tea, coffee, red wine, and berries can stain your teeth. Avoid tobacco products because they'll quickly turn your new teeth yellow. Good oral hygiene is essential. Brush at least twice a day and floss at least once a day. Some kinds of toothpaste can be quite abrasive. Please ask us for a recommendation. And keep your regular hygiene appointments. That will help you maintain the best oral health and maximize the success of your new teeth. Call us anytime if you have questions or concerns. We'll be happy to discuss them with you. To restore a damaged smile, all porcelain crowns can be a beautiful choice. These crowns have the translucency of your natural teeth. This makes them an excellent choice when aesthetics are of great importance. Crowns can restore teeth that are chipped, protect weak teeth, cover a large filling, cover a dental implant, and cover teeth that are severely misshapen or discolored. Crowns can be made to match the color of your teeth. Some crowns have porcelain fused to metal. This can create a dark line at the gum, making the teeth look unnatural. All porcelain crowns contain no metal at all. So you'll have a natural-looking smile for years to come. If an all-porcelain crown is right for you, we'll work with you to get the perfect fit for a beautiful smile. If you have a slight imperfection in your teeth, bonding can be a simple way to improve your smile. Bonding can repair teeth that are stained, chipped, crooked, or have minor gaps. And in some cases, bonding can repair a cavity with a natural-looking tooth-colored restoration. Bonding can be a quick procedure, often done in just an hour or two. Many bonding procedures can be performed without anesthesia, and it can be less expensive than a crown or veneer. To prepare a tooth for bonding, we'll clean off any plaque and tartar. We'll choose a shade that matches your natural tooth color. The tooth needs to be dry, so we may use a rubber dam to isolate it. To begin, we use a mild etching solution to condition the surface. This helps the bonding agent adhere to your tooth. We then apply the bonding material and set it with a special curing light. We'll add a layer of resin and again harden it with the curing light. We may do this several times until we reach the proper thickness. Once all layers have been placed, we sculpt them to the desired shape. We'll check your bite to make sure your tooth functions properly. Finally, we polish it to a smooth and beautiful finish. With proper care, the bonding material should last between 3 and 10 years. Bonding can be a good way to repair minor problems and give you a beautiful smile. If you have a cavity on a back tooth, you can choose to restore it with a traditional amalgam, also known as a silver filling, or a natural-looking resin. This restoration, known as an indirect resin, can be crafted in a lab for increased strength and accuracy. It's cured under intense heat and light, causing a chemical reaction that strengthens the material. The resin is bonded to your tooth, making it stronger than it would be with a silver filling. Resins have advantages over silver fillings. 
Because they bond with the tooth, less tooth structure is removed than with an amalgam filling. And some resin restorations contain fluoride that helps prevent decay. Resins can be made to match your natural tooth color so they can blend in beautifully. A resin restoration can be a great choice for a natural-looking smile. The goal of cosmetic dentistry is to turn a dull smile into a dazzling one. We have several options to restore teeth that are crooked, chipped, stained or discolored, have gaps, or uneven gums. We also have several ways to replace missing teeth. Before we begin any treatment, we'll talk with you about your personal goals for your smile and perform a thorough exam to check your oral health. It's important that we maintain good function in addition to enhancing beauty. In planning treatment, there are very specific measurements we take to achieve the best facial harmony. We take a number of things into account, including the individual teeth, the width of your smile, and the shape of your face. Improving your smile may be as simple as a whitening process or might require more involved treatments, such as placing veneers or crowns or orthodontics. We'll discuss what's best for your particular case and answer all your questions. Every smile should also include fresh breath. If you have a concern about this, we can determine the cause and discuss solutions. Cosmetic dentistry can help enhance your confidence, improve the health of your teeth, and often give you a more youthful smile. If you have unattractive teeth, we can design a plan to help you get the smile you've always wanted. When we restore a tooth with an indirect resin that is created in the lab, it will take two or more visits to complete. We'll begin the procedure when we're sure the area is completely numb. We'll then prepare your tooth cleaning out any decay. Because we're using a resin, we can leave more of the healthy tooth structure than if we used a silver filling. Next, we take an impression of the area to be restored. This will be used to create your indirect resin. We'll put a temporary restoration in while your permanent one is being made. At the lab, the restoration is crafted to precise dimensions. In about two or three weeks, we'll be ready to place your new restoration. First, we'll make sure the area is completely numb. We may use a rubber dam to keep the tooth dry. Then, we remove the temporary. We'll condition the tooth with a special bonding agent, position your new restoration, and seal it in place. The material will beautifully match the color of your natural teeth. Your new restoration should give you a strong, natural-looking smile for years to come. No matter how well you take care of your teeth, they can darken and stain over time. We can provide an at-home whitening system to help you get back your youthful smile. Before we begin any whitening treatment, we'll check the health of your teeth and repair any damage. We may take impressions of your teeth. From the impressions, we'll make plastic trays to fit your teeth exactly. You'll use these at home with a special whitening gel that's stronger than any over-the-counter product. Place a small amount of the whitening gel on the front surface of the trays and place them over your teeth. If any gel ends up on your gums, simply wipe it away. You'll wear the trays for about two weeks. Depending on your situation, we'll recommend that you wear them an hour a day or overnight. You should see results in just a few weeks. A home whitening system can lighten teeth stained by coffee, tea, and wine, can be done at your convenience, and since the trays are custom-made, they fit securely over your teeth. Home whitening can be an easy way to help brighten your smile. When a tooth has a cavity or you need to replace a worn filling, a natural-looking restoration can be a beautiful choice. White fillings have several advantages over silver fillings. They're bonded to your tooth, making it stronger than if we used a silver filling. We don't have to remove as much tooth structure as with a silver filling, and the bonding agent used can insulate your tooth from extremes of hot and cold. Some white restorations can be done in just one visit. After we remove the decay, we can build layers of the resin directly onto your tooth. We use a special light to bond the resin to the tooth for strength. A larger cavity may need an indirect restoration. 
We'll remove the decay or the old worn restoration. The restoration will be created in the lab to fit your tooth precisely. Once crafted, we'll bond it to your tooth for strength. It'll take two or more visits to get this kind of restoration. White fillings can be a great choice to give you healthy teeth and a beautiful, natural-looking smile. Veneers are thin shells of porcelain bonded to the front of teeth. They can be a great choice to improve teeth that are stained, crooked, worn, or have gaps. Veneers can give you straighter, wider, and more even-looking teeth. The porcelain has a translucent quality that resembles your natural teeth. Placing veneers can take two or more appointments. We want to first check the health of your gums and teeth. Many people don't need anesthesia for this procedure, but if you do, we'll begin when we're sure the area is numb. If necessary, we might remove a minimal amount of tooth structure equal to the thickness of the veneer. We then take an impression of your teeth. This will be used by the lab to create your custom veneers. In some cases, we might place temporary veneers on your teeth while your veneers are being made. On your next visit, we'll remove the temporaries and place the permanent veneers, checking for color and fit. Once everything looks good, we'll bond them into place. Veneers are a great way to transform your smile in just a couple of visits. Take good care of them, and your veneers can give you a beautiful smile for years to come. If you're missing a tooth, an all-porcelain bridge can be a good way to replace it. A bridge is a natural-looking restoration attached to the neighboring teeth. We can match the bridge to the color of your natural teeth. Teeth need each other. When the opposing tooth has nothing to chew against, it can tilt and protrude from its socket. This can also create areas more susceptible to decay. If you decide not to replace the missing tooth, your teeth can shift, causing gaps in your remaining teeth. A natural-looking all-porcelain bridge can help you chew and speak properly, and it can keep other teeth from shifting, which can help prevent problems with your bite or jaw. An all-porcelain bridge looks like your natural teeth. It's a great way to restore the health of your mouth and your beautiful smile. When teeth are stained, dark, chipped, or misaligned, Laminate veneers may be a good choice to brighten your smile. A veneer is an ultra-thin sheet of porcelain that covers the front of a tooth. Getting veneers usually takes just two office visits. First, we'll examine your teeth and might take x-rays. Next, we lightly prepare the surface of the teeth so that the thin veneers won't look thick or bulky. Because such a small amount of tooth is removed, most people don't need anesthetic. After preparation, we take an impression of your teeth. The mold is then sent to a lab where the actual thin veneers are made. On your next office visit, we place the veneers onto your teeth to make sure they're a good fit. We prepare the teeth for final bonding. Then, we'll shine a special light to harden the cement and secure the veneer to the teeth. We check the bite and make any minor adjustments. Thin veneers are very strong and, with proper home care, can last 10 to 15 years, sometimes even longer. The lighter and brighter color of the veneers is permanent, and you can go home with the smile of your dreams. For almost 150 years, dentists have used amalgam or silver fillings to repair teeth. However, there are some distinct disadvantages to silver fillings. An amalgam is a combination of elements that can include silver, tin, and copper, mixed with mercury. Because a silver filling doesn't bond to your tooth, it must be locked into place. This requires that we remove more healthy tooth structure than with other types of fillings. The metal is not very stable. Over time, moisture and temperature change can make it expand and contract. The pushing against your tooth can cause fractures or chips. This expansion can lift the filling, creating a gap that can allow bacteria to seep in. The metal can contract, opening a gap that can also allow bacteria in. This expansion and contraction can stress your tooth and could cause it to break. Biting puts significant force on a silver filling, and as it ages, it can crack and break. 
Silver fillings don't match the natural color of your teeth, and they can turn black and unsightly. An amalgam filling might cause you to be sensitive to hot or cold for a while. Over time, there can be discoloration where the filling meets the tooth, and a very small percentage of people are allergic to the metal used. We now have several options for restoring your tooth with natural-looking materials that will enhance your smile and save more healthy tooth structure. When you're missing a full arch of teeth, you have several choices for replacing them. We may be able to modify your current full denture, or we can make a new one for you. Another choice is to wear a denture that is secured with implants. If you now wear a denture that doesn't fit well, we may be able to adjust or reline it so it's more comfortable and functional for a while. If you have not worn a complete denture before, or if your old one needs replacing, we can create a new denture for you. Dentures can look good and fit well at the start. However, when teeth are missing, the jawbone gradually shrinks, and in some cases, dentures can even accelerate bone loss. This shrinkage changes your appearance and the fit of your dentures. It also causes dentures to become loose, making it difficult to chew. Loose dentures can also cause sores and tender spots to develop. On the other hand, implants hold dentures securely in your mouth and enable you to talk and chew easily. And because implants replace the roots of missing teeth, they help maintain the health and shape of the bone. Your specific situation will determine the kind of denture that's best for you. Some patients wear a fixed denture that stays in the mouth and others use a removable denture. If you're thinking about delaying treatment, you should know that the jawbone will continue to shrink, making the placement of implants in the future more complex. That's why we're recommending implants now, to help keep your jawbone healthy, hold your dentures securely in place, and preserve your beautiful smile.